I'm going to talk about MP3 tags in this video. Now, if your automation system or playout system is one that uses MP3s and uses playlists that find and play the files, the audio files based on the drive path file name, then before you start with Music One, before you try to import your song data into it, it's important that you check the tags on your audio files that you'll be using on your radio station and do any updates on the tags where you need to. Now a lot of folks don't know exactly what a tag is and they don't know the difference between a tag and the audio file name and that's what I'm going to show you here. Here's one of my own audio file folders. This is the file name. Everything else you see is metadata that is contained within the file. Metadata is another name for tags. The audio file, you see, has more than just audio in it. It's got a little mini database sitting on top of the audio file that contains fields where information about the file can be placed. You know when you're listening to something online and there's a little crawl across the bottom of the screen showing the title and the artist? Well, that, that title and artist is coming from the tag field. I'm going to do a right click here on this file and I'm selecting properties and when I then click the details tab we can see the tag fields. You see there are fields here where you can enter data for hit year, genre, beats per minute and other things. The only two fields that are really important are title and artist which for some unknown reason is named contributing artist. You may also want to put in your album title if, uh, if that's not already there, but that's not required by Music One. In this window, in this Windows folder view, I have my title and my artist and my album tag showing. If I see there's a tag that's missing or one that's got an error, I can correct it here by doing a right click and selecting properties and clicking the details tab and then typing the update into that field. You can do this with Windows 7 or Windows 8. I'm not sure about uh, Windows XP, but if I'm remembering correctly, I don't think that you can correct tags with XP. If you find that you have a lot of tags that need to be corrected, then you can do it more efficiently by uh, using one of the many free tag editing apps that you can find on the internet. My favorite one is Media Monkey, and I've got another video on the Music One site here showing how to use Media Monkey. Correct your tags before you even try to import anything into Music One.